How you doing, John? I'm good. How are you? Very good. Uh, well, now from the uh, San Jose earthquakes, uh, the obligated question here in Chicago, everybody is asking us, and um, we're really hoping that you're going to answer this question for us today. Uh, we woke up that Monday uh, knowing that you were no longer here. What is that happen? Why? What happened? I, I have no idea. Um, you know, Carlos and I got on very well all preseason. Um, he kept telling me how well I was playing and how I was his number one goalkeeper um, and how all he had to do was decide who uh, was the number two, either Sean or Andrew. Um, you know, that he told me that numerous times throughout preseason. Um, on that Saturday morning, the week before the first game, we had practice here. Well, we had, supposed to have a game. It got canceled. Um, I went into the weight room. He said afterwards, I need to talk to you. So I said, okay, you know. Um, he, when we had a conversation, he told me that I wasn't going to be pl starting that next weekend in New York, uh, that he thought Andrew had potential and he wanted to give him the game. Um, you know, I told him, obviously, I was disappointed, but, you know, I support him. I'll do whatever I need to do. I'll just keep working and, and wait for my opportunity again. He said, great, that's all I wanted to hear. Uh, see you on Monday. And then Sunday night, I got a text message from Frank, uh, you know, Frankie Klopas, at 6 o'clock that he wanted to meet me that night uh, at 8 o'clock. Um, so we went around the corner from my apartment. You know, Sunday was our day off, so we didn't come in. Um, I met with him, and he told me that, uh, you know, basically the same thing, that, you know, he wanted to, he, uh, Carlos was going to go with Andrew. And, uh, you know, I told him the same thing. I understood that, you know, from yesterday's conversation. And, you know, I'll do whatever I need to do. I'll just keep working. I'll help Andrew prepare for New York. And, uh, you know, you, I won't cause a problem. I've never caused a problem in 14 years as a pro. Um, and he said, I understand that. He said, but Carlos has now told me that by Monday at 5 o'clock, he, he either had to trade me or waive me. And that was it. I asked Frank the reasoning, and he just said, this is what Carlos wants. Um, and, you know, he said he, he believes in Andrew, and he has, you know, Andrew has potential, and he wants to go with Andrew. And that was, that was it, plain and simple. Uh, very big surprise now. Tell us about the challenge now represent to be second goalkeeper on a team uh, after so many years you've been the you know the referent for Chicago. Yeah, you know it's the same every year regardless of where I am. You know I come in, I work hard, I do my job. You know if if the coach picks me to play, I play. If the coach doesn't pick me to play, I don't play. You know I've never ever went into any team and said I have to be the number one. I feel like that has to be earned every day at training, and it's the same here. You know they've got a very good goalkeeper and Joe Cannon. He proved it again tonight. Um, I'm just excited, you know, for a kind of a new challenge. I've never been on the West Coast, um, so I'm excited for, you know, some sun. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go through the season and see where it gets us, you know. And at, at the end of the year, we'll, you know, we'll sit down with Frank and, and, and John Doyle and, and go from there. But as of right now, you know, I'm just here to help the team in any way I can. Now, how does it feel that reception that the uh, people give you here in Chicago? Well, I mean, they're, you know, the fans here, the fans here are amazing. You know, I mean, four four years I spent here with them, and you know, you, you saw it again tonight. I mean, they they framed the picture for me. They you know they threw me scarves. I knew it was going to be emotional. You know, I I just tried to kind of stay focused into the game, but you know, uh, they have the best fans in the league. I mean, you know, hopefully I'll get a good reception in San Jose. Um, you know, they have good fans there, but you know, the, these fans here are very special to me, and you know, I I definitely am going to miss them greatly. I understand that we can never predict the future, and of course right now your mind is focused on San Jose, but uh, if you ever have the chance to come back to Chicago, no hard feelings right now? No hard feelings. You know, like I said, I mean, it, it was a decision they made. It doesn't make sense to anybody, but you know what? You move on. Life's too short to, to, to bitch and moan about it. You just get on with your job, and you know what? I mean, if, if down the road they, you know, they're interested again and, and it's the right situation, you know, I would come back, but you know what? Um, I'm a straightforward guy, and right now I'm just worried about San Jose and, and helping them get results. Well, we wish you the best, uh, John, and uh, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.